Um, the Avengers. Um, what issue is this? Avengers number 12. This is a rockin'. <laughs> this is a rockin'. <laughs> That's a vibrant break couple. Yes. Hey everybody, Fair Guy here. Um, just prepping uh, my bag for uh, Garden State Comic Fest uh, that is this weekend in Atlantic City, New Jersey, going down there with the wife. Um, Garden State Comic Fest is a more comic-oriented uh, convention and caters more towards the you know the creative process and that's what i really like too christine my wife she's a big uh she she loves artwork and loves picking out covers that just look look eye-catching uh me obviously i'm i'm the collector i go for the first you know first appearances or the big issues or uh you know just trying to complete my runs there's a lot of great people that are coming to this convention um Kevin Eastman, co-creator of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, is going to be there. He was actually at the show two years ago when I went, and that was the biggest draw for me was going to see him. We got our bags packed, the dogs all packed. Um, he's actually probably, uh, it's usually around this time I go take him out, so I'm going to end this part of the video and go take him out, and then we're both going to go to bed um, and uh, just get through work tomorrow drive down and uh have fun on saturday so that's what we'll uh pick back up with you all right so uh see you then As you can tell, it's June now, and it's been two months since Garden State Comic Fest. Um, we didn't do this whole video because we were away, 
we got home and then we had to get our house in order to do put down new floors um and then we were away again and everything kind of snowballed the last few months we've been just taking up time so we definitely wanted to bring the uh haul video though to, to you so um we're just gonna get right into it um christine's off camera right now she didn't want to be in the in the in the video right now so that's fine but uh just gonna try to give my impressions of it i really enjoyed it I I think for, for the most part you enjoyed it too, right? Yeah, I liked the open space. Yeah, it was it, the space was very open. I think the show floor was really planned well. Um, it wasn't really as cr it wasn't like crowded. You weren't on top of each other. Usually at these conventions you can get on top and and can just get very uh, claustrophobic in in it. I didn't have that feeling whatsoever during this. Um, there was a lot of people, a lot of guests that uh, we met a few people already. I think the only line that we actually waited in was for Kevin Eastman. And the majority of that was just waiting for him to actually arrive at his table. So let's kind of go over exactly what we got um, and tell you some of the people that we had, we did meet. Um, first one is anchor Mark Morales on uh, Spider-Man Deadpool number nine that I had. Um, really enjoyed this cover. I think uh, he did a great job inking on there. So, uh, got that, got a signature on that. Um, Riley Brown, who's an artist as well, he did the pencils for this variant cover to Sonic Boom number, uh, I believe it's no, issue 10. Uh, it is part 10 of the Worlds Unite uh, crossover, and this is uh, basically show, showcases all the Capcom and Sega characters that joined together in this 12-issue uh, 12, 12 arc. Uh, I love it. I needed this cover when I first saw it, and I'm glad I got his signature on there. Uh, next up is Scott Hanna, who was there, and he uh, signed my Robin number one from 1993. Nice little foil cover there. So it was actually uh, it was actually really nice. I do have a couple other signatures from him as well, but I thought that was a really cool one. Next one is Catwoman, number 39, from New 52 Era. The variant cover is by Jim Ballent. He was there. He was a really nice guy that we met. Um, yeah, it's really Harley Quinn uh, anniversary variant cover for that issue. Next up is Titans, number 13, the variant cover for this issue. And it's done by V. Ken Marion, who is on DC a lot. And uh, this issue is great. Love this series so much. Last but not least is this uh, Batman Legends of Dark Knight number 68, signed by uh, Joe Stanton. He did the interior and the uh, cover pencils as well. Classic uh, going sane story arc with that great Joker versus Batman cover right there. I uh, got to talk to Joe a couple for a couple minutes on the Heroes Initiative, which uh, is set up by comic creators for comic creators to help in case they have issues with um, medical bills and just overall helping out creators on a daily basis. It's really good. It was really nice talking to him about that, and I do suggest that you check it out if you're more if you're interested in that. Uh, leave a link in the description below. For you to check that out so that's all the signatures that we got i'm gonna move on to the comics we actually i don't think we got anything else but comics during this uh yeah i think it was just yeah it was just all comics that we got during this uh, we did find a lot of good deals uh so we're just gonna kind of run through them uh been getting trying to get collect a lot more than original ninja turtles run so got Eastman Laritz Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number nine I believe this is number 17 shoot 42 and then the return of the Mirage run in 2001 with issue number one and Next, we're going to go into some DC comics. Uh, I got Action Comics 
897. It's cool Lex Luthor cover right there. Um, Black Manta is one of my favorite DC villains. So this is Aquaman 23.1 from the New 52. It is a holographic cover of Black Manta. Pretty cool. Uh, Back to the Future from Harvey Comics. I remember this growing up, and I don't know if I ever did own this, but I did have a friend that owned this, but this is Back to the Future number one. I think that's based off of the original Back to the Future animated series that they did back in the early 90s. This was funny. Uh, Clerks Holiday Special. Big Kevin Smith fan. Kevin Smith fan. And I do like collecting holiday covers as well for around the holidays to display on the wall. Um, this is a, Christ, a Christine picked this up. She liked this issue. This is Spider-Man number 14. Uh, Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen looking like they're getting married in that issue. That's when they were starting to date. Avengers number 12. This is actually a really cool cover by uh, John Romita Jr. Love the colors on that. I believe this is the first time a human actually was able to wield the Infinity Gauntlet, and that was obviously Tony Stark. Um, we got this for just a dollar. This is Infinity, book one of six. Nice Thanos on the cover there. And um, from Eastside Mags, this was actually another find from Christine. Uh, the guys at Eastside Mags actually gave us a high five when we found this in their dollar bins. This is Thanos number one from the highly regarded series that's happening right now. It's awesome. And then we found some, this was like from the $5 bins, from, but $5 Silver Age bins. So I uh, picked up a couple of uh, older DC comics, Justice League of America number 175. Justice League of America 233. Nice shot of vibe on the cover. And this is a 12 center. Justice League number 59. Justice League of America number 59. It's in great condition. This is this is old. This is an old one there. And last but not least, the last two issues that we got were a little bit more on the expensive end, but not that much. Um, we got these actually from a friend, AJ, over at Comics Collision. And uh, first one is Justice Society of America. I've been collecting these Alex Ross uh, issues for a while now. This is, uh, features Power Girl on there. Beautiful, I love these covers so much. And there's, I pretty much have almost all of them, I think. And then uh, Christine is the one that bit the bullet and bought <laughs> this issue. And it's actually probably the, the most expensive comic that we bought while at the, uh, at the show. And uh, this is actually from 1968. It is first edition. I did check. It is the first edition. And it is the true story of Smokey Bear. This is totally yours. This is just, you really, really wanted this when you saw this. So, and Christine works at, is a, is a former park ranger, so that's why uh, she found it interesting. She worked at the park for 10 years almost, and uh, Smokey the Bear was always there for her. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that's pretty much what we got. We did also get a comic graded by CBCS. I uh, won't tell you exactly what we got graded, but um, there will be a video, an unboxing video when we uh, get that back in. Like I said, it's been a couple months now. It should hopefully be ready to be shipped back to us soon. If we don't have anything bad to say. We actually had a great time. We hope that it comes back. Uh, it seems like they planned uh, a lot of different events at the showboat. In that space, they had probably ones coming up. Definitely, they have like an anime con. They have a, another con comic convention, a Halloween convention in October. So it looks like Atlantic City is going to embrace that 
convention side and uh, start bringing that stuff in more. So sorry it took so long, but we had a great time at Garden State Comic Fest and definitely planning on bringing in more stuff soon. So without further ado, Christine will be on a video at some point. Eh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.